The member for Hughes. My question is to the Assistant Treasurer and Minister for Housing. Will the Minister outline to the House how the Morrison government's JobKeeper payment is helping Australian businesses stay in business? The Assistant Treasurer and Minister for Housing. Thanks, uh, thanks very much, um, Mr Speaker. And can I thank uh, the member for Hughes for his question? Uh, no doubt the member for Hughes is a champion of many causes, but the small businesses in his electorate, uh, indeed all businesses in his electorate and everyone that's working hard each and every day uh, who he backs. And it's wonderful to report that, yes, the JobKeeper has been something that has been spoken about in this House uh, many, many times, but rightly so. And as the Treasurer uh, has outlined on a number of occasions, uh, the enthusiastic take-up of this program has been something that is perhaps uh, unsurprising. But the way in which it is being administered, the way in which it is being rolled out, has provided an extraordinary lifeline now for 850,000 Australian businesses—850,000 businesses that covers some 5.7 million employees, and both of those numbers are growing. Um, Mr Speaker, um, it's been an extraordinary effort to get to this point, and for those 850,000 businesses covering 5.7 million employees, the average time that they are waiting to receive their JobKeeper payments are about two to three days. Uh, that, again, uh, to add to perhaps what the uh, Minister for Government Services has said, has been and relied upon a huge effort from our public service. And in this case, I want to say a huge effort from uh, the employees and the leadership of the Australian Taxation Office. Indeed, in my uh, daily reports from the ATO, it's extraordinary just to see the amount of volume of traffic that they have. Uh, been assisting Australian taxpayers with. For example, uh, the average call volumes in the last couple of weeks has been 87,000 phone calls a day that they've been uh, attending to. Uh, they have been extended their hours uh, till very late at night and all weekend. And to put that into some context, at this time last year they were attending to 35,000 calls a day, so more than double. And that has relied upon the extraordinary commitment of our uh, members of the ATO who have delivered for those Australian businesses. Now, just before question time, I was uh, speaking to uh, the Mayor of Melbourne, and we were talking about a range of topics. And one of the things that she said to me about the impact it's had on businesses uh, that she has spoken to is not just uh, the obviously the direct report, support and the confidence, but for those businesses that have tried to pivot, those say food businesses that have moved to takeaway, it has supported that pivot of their business model because obviously their employees have a largely subsidised wage. So uh, the JobKeeper uh, support uh, that we are providing has been exceptionally important, will continue to be exceptionally important, and I again want to thank our public servants who have delivered this in such a quick fashion for Australian businesses.